Here's why you should not buy the Rode NTSB and instead buy the Rode NTSB Mini. Number 1. It's old. The Rode NTSB came out in 2015, where the Mini only came out in 2020. The Rode NTSB isn't even compatible with some of the newer devices, where the Mini not only connects to the newer devices, but even tablets and phones, thanks to its USB-C connection. Number 2. It's a bad design. You may think that having the pop filter and the microphone connected onto one base, held up by the stand may be a good design, but it really just makes the microphone fall over, as all that weight is put onto the side of the stand, on which it's going to fall over. Even if I touch the pop filter, it's just going to make the entire microphone fall over. This is probably the main reason why my Rode NTSB got worn out so quickly, from the amount of times it's fallen over. Number 3. It's not convenient. The microphone doesn't have any good controls in it, besides these useless dials which you're never going to use. Unlike the Mini, it actually has a software which is really useful for different types of recordings, where you actually do use the headphone dial.